third attempt. Well, I have to go. Mm. I've ironed the clothes, the breakfast on the okay. table. I'm off. Hold on. Are you going to be late today? Yeah, as usual. I need you to pick up the tuxedo from the cleaners, okay? Oh, Nost, you in. Come on, the rehearsal isn't until late at night. Oh, well, uh, I'll do it myself then. Get up, mm. get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I love you. This one's here. Do you want me to make uh, broccoli soup for you tomorrow? No. I have an extremely difficult relationship with cabbage. Yes? I can't stand its smell. Well, actually, I know a very good recipe. My husband refused to eat it at first. Then he tasted it and fell in love. <laughs> like he fell in love with you. A mistress, king, smart and beautiful. I'm ordinary, very much so. Did you take your pills? Yeah, here, look. Wonderful. Well, injection, and then to bed. Mm. Oh, what would I do without you? You're my salvation. Here, take it. You burden yourself with me so much. It's no burden, it's my job. I don't need extra money. I'll take only what we've agreed to. Nastya, I feel uncomfortable too, you know. You're pushing yourself too hard for a few pennies. Oksana, come on, get up. Uh. I have a strange feeling someone's sweet talking me to get out of their injection, right? Nastya. Yeah, yeah. You're as tough as I can a stone. Tell. Right this way. So what? It's his problem that he decided to start earlier. Why should I care? No, I didn't receive any texts. Of course I'll be late now. <sighs> All right, Vika, I'm on my way. Got it. Does it hurt? It's so good that you came to me, my dear. I don't feel so bleak. Did your son leave again? He did. A road trip? Oh, well, yeah. He won't be back for an entire month. Or more, perhaps. Mm hmm Are you sure you're comfortable? No, that's all fine. Sit down, have a rest. This thing will drip for another 40 minutes. Can I run over to the cleaners? It's not too far from here. I promised my husband that I would pick up his tuxedo today. Can't he do it himself? I want you to be in good hands. He's got rehearsal all day. He's preparing for a concert. He's driving you too hard. No, he's not. He's nice. He's just busy. He's lucky to have you. And I'm lucky to have him. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Mm. Oleg, calm down, will you? It's nothing personal, he wasn't attacking you. Nothing personal? Why the heck am I always the scapegoat? Listen, 
This is a dress rehearsal. Everybody's nervous. Anyway, you were late. Look, I didn't know we were going to start earlier. I didn't get the message, and you know what? I apologized, okay? I understand. He'll have his lunch and calm down. Yeah, calm down. You've already made two mistakes today. First, you were late, and the other was you made a mistake in the second note of the fifth measure. One more mistake and I'll fire you. It's easier to hire another musician than to tolerate your messiness. Do you understand? He's already decided everything. I'm not gonna tolerate this. You know what? I, hey, you! Uh, bon appetit, Oleg Petrovich. Uh, Oleg will consider your feedback. Thank you. Be cool. Don't lose your temper. I'm just not gonna stand here like an idiot and wait for him to fire me. I'll hand him my resignation tomorrow. I'm sick of him. That's fine. This is your decision, of course, but this is the best orchestra in the city. Will you find a job like this? Do you want to practice with me tomorrow? We'll meet earlier and study the difficult parts. Why are you doing this? I want to help. I like you, Oleg. <laughs> Young lady, I can see you love animals. Take this puppy. I really wish I could, but I can't. It's a nice puppy, a healthy puppy. It's the last one. It's a girl. I want to find a good home for her. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. Did you pick up the tuxedo? Sorry, babe, but the cleaners was closed. Yeah. I couldn't get it today. Yeah, I knew it. Of course, I'm already having issues at work, and now I'm going to be underdressed, too. You won't go underdressed. Don't worry, I have a backup plan. I'll just clean up your wedding suit. You'll be the best looking man there. <laughs> That's your what wedding suit? What the heck are you talking about? It's too tight. It's been too many years. I'll rearrange the buttons. Don't worry, it's just this once. No one's going to notice. All right. Mmm, did you bring something tasty? Mm -hmm. Nastya, why are you, uh, holding your chest? <laughs> what, what is that? I was told that it was a dog. <laughs> uh, a dog? Why do you have a dog, Nastya? Are you out of your mind? Why? Oleg, what's wrong? It's so lovely. I couldn't just walk away. Do you even care that I'm allergic? Stop making things up. You're not allergic. Well, do you want me to be? Let's test it. Come on, let's test it. On the exact day before an important concert when my career is literally going straight down the drain. What happened? Oh, I just had a fight with the conductor, and if I fail tomorrow, he'll fire me. <sighs> oh, God. Now, do you understand how important it is for me to get a good night's rest for tomorrow? And I need to breathe properly for that, and I need to sleep. Well, what should we do? I don't know. I can't just throw the dog away right now. <gasps> Let's do it this way. I'll give you a pill for your allergies. We'll leave the dog in the hall for the night. You won't even notice that it's here, I promise. And I'll take it away in the morning. Yeah, I get it. All right, fine. Just do whatever you want and keep the dog for yourself. I'm gonna go then. Where? I don't know. I need to sleep well, and I can't risk that much to... I'll come up with something. Okay, like what? I'll take her to Luba. Perhaps they're willing to take her there. <sighs> and the suit? I'll do it as soon as I come back. Your husband didn't want the dog, did he? <laughs> you know, he has breathing problems. And he has allergies. Come on, come on, come on. Since when is your husband allergic? Well, what if he is? So you found a good one. Great job. Meanwhile, he found somebody else, and now you're still supporting him while he takes advantage of you. You're working so hard helping the elderly while he doesn't even lift a finger. Idiot. 
And look who's taking care of the pup. Luba, don't. He wanted to keep it. But then he would have had to leave the house. Oh, poor devil. I'm about to burst into tears for him. Will you take it? Slava, what do you think we should do with the puppy? I think we should take her. Hmm. Well, keep it if you want. <laughs> I do want her. Just look at this pretty dog. What should we name her? What? Kashtanka. Slava. Have some imagination. Take a look, will you? Take a look. Come on. I'm not Kashtanka. No. Take a look, all right? We need a graceful name here, Isadora Dionysia. Hmm? Hmm? All right. Call the mutt Desdemona. Go ahead. Or maybe Juliet? Oh, there you go. She'll be Juliet. <laughs> Juliet, I like it. Will you be Juliet? All right, then you'll be Juliet. Right, my friends. I've just seen the mayor off. He mm. is absolutely amazed. And he has promised to help us with financing. Oh, oh. That's, great. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my special thanks go to you. Your solo was perfect today. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Well, thank you. Mm. Guys, don't relax yet, because we may go to the festival if everything goes as planned. And if it does, the administration will take care of all the costs. Oh, that's mm. wonderful. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Aha! All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, great. Thank all you. Right. That's fantastic. I really couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> Hello, Lena. How are you? Hello, Nastya. Oh. Oleg, I'm home. I picked up your suit. They did a really good job at the cleaning. Oleg? Uh, hey, you're early. Uh, well, I wanted to surprise you. Who's that? Why didn't you call? How long have you been doing this? Look, this really isn't what it looks like. She's my colleague. She helped me with the concert, and I wanted to thank her somehow. That's it. In our own bed. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I just didn't have time to make the bed in the morning. We just had a drink, okay? Is that a crime? But why? Was it so bad when we were together? Nastya, please, you have to believe me. There was nothing between us. <laughs> you know what? I thought this would never happen to me. I thought you were... perfect. I'm not perfect, Nastya. I'm a normal man. And I am flawed. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into my head. It was a devil's work. I was nervous. I needed to relieve the stress somehow. As if you're so perfect out there with your old guys. It was just something that happened to remind me how much I love you, okay? Come on, come on, take a walk. <laughs> Excuse me, are you okay? Is everything fine? Did something happen? 
Thank you. Everything's great. Yeah, it doesn't really look like everything's great. <laughs> no, I know how to help you. The best cure for melancholy is Barney. Barney, come here. See, come on. Come on. Okay. I want you to meet Barney. Well, of course, you can't solve all your problems, but it gives out a lot of positivity. Go on, go ahead, pet him. Don't worry, he's a nice dog. Hello. 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 <laughs> it really helps. He's nice. <laughs> you know what? I think I know what I need to do now. Thank you very much. Bye. See you. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I really don't. That's how it is. You've been working your whole life, like frickin' Geppetto, dragging all that weight by yourself. Luba, you know that's not true. Everything used to be fine. Is she the reason he hasn't been ready for a baby for the last five years? No. Well, it just hasn't worked. <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next? Will you forgive him? Pretend that nothing happened? I don't know. I want to take Juliet. What do you mean? Does this prick no longer have his, so to speak, allergy? What if I leave him? <sighs> you don't say. Thank you, dear Lord, for illuminating this clouded mind. You're a sage and a saint. Come on, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Juliet's got business to do. Yeah. <sighs> Slava, we're going for a walk. All right. I never really liked him, you know. I've always been honest. I told you that from the beginning. Don't be mean. He's a good and kind, caring man. He never leaves a plate on the table. He always puts them into the sink. Mm hmm Yeah, but doesn't wash. Well, you know, it's just... He's a musician. He has to take care of his hands. You know, the main thing is that he loved me. I felt that, and we never got into big fights. Nastya, how can you be so oblivious? How can you trust him so blindly? What if he has been bringing girls home for the last five years? Have you gone crazy? Do you want a piece of advice? Leave your sissy genius and find yourself a normal man, and stop running yourself ragged. What kind of man is this? Can't even make a living wage. He should be ashamed of himself. You're a 10 and he's a 1. You know musicians don't make a lot of money. Nastia, don't love your husband more than he loves you. Otherwise, you'll turn into his servant. You have to be the queen to stand on the pedestal. You're not a dumb joker. Don't care about him so much, then he'll carry you. Like Slava does for me. Yeah, Slava's pretty great. Right, and this is why I feel like a queen next to him, and you need to find someone like that too. Oh, hey, Oleg. Nastia? What do you want? Slava said you went for a walk, so please listen to me, okay? She doesn't want to talk to you, don't you understand? Uh, Luba, please, just let us talk. Nastia? Nastia. I'm here if you need me. Come back, please. I'm awful without you. No. I understand what I did was wrong. Forgive me, please. I've made a huge mistake. Not a mistake. It was not a mistake, but it was a betrayal. Don't you understand that I will never be able to trust you again? Do you want to destroy our family? <laughs> You've already destroyed it. What about if I let you bring home the dog? Will you forgive me? And what about your allergies? 
I'll think of something, won't I? We'll take the pills, right, buddy? We'll take the pills. We'll... <coughs> no one needs your heroism. Nastya. Come here. See you later. Nastya. Nastya, listen. I'm a complete fool. Nothing like that will ever happen again, I promise you. Do you believe me? Come on, look at me. Let's, uh... Let's, you and I, have something of our own. Someone that will love more than life itself. What do you say? Have you decided? I just want you to be happy, that's all. It's gonna be different now, I promise. Everything will be different. <clears throat> so then? Your sweetheart got to you, and you believed him, right? Luba, this is our life, okay? Are you taking the dog? <coughs> <laughs> I see. Well, go ahead. Pursue the new happiness. Good luck. Thank you for everything. You ready to go? Come on, come on. Nasty, my love. Look, I made it myself. I didn't even burn anything. This is incredible. I've only seen this in movies. <sighs> See, I told you. This is how it will always be from now on. You know, there's something up here that I've been wanting to show you. I really hope you like it. Here? You know, I've always liked looking in here. Maybe we'll find something in there. Nastya, mm? it's a bit further down. Mm. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. No feathers or wool, no allergies. It's really the best option. Nastya? Nastya, what is it? I just thought you were talking about a baby. Nastya, I promise we will have a child. We just have to wait one more year, okay? We just need to get back on our feet so that our child has all the best. I've heard this for five years. Well, then give me another year, please. So you're saying that he's changed? Mm-hmm. <sighs> he became so attentive, so oh. tender. I don't even know what to think. Sometimes it's so good that I'm scared. Oh, come on. You're nice and kind. Who else deserves happiness but you? Can you imagine? He suggested we think about a baby, but in a year. Why in a year? You've been living together for five years. I think it's time to get down to business. Well, we need to save some money. A baby is very expensive. With the money I make, I can't save a thing. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. I wish I had a daughter-in-law like you. My Sashka would spend less time traveling. Where does he work? He's always going on long trips for work. Oh, I'm afraid that I've confused you. He's had some issues.
You're my golden girl. <laughs> Nastya, would you be so kind to take the small pan and pour your soup in it? I'll bring it to my neighbor. He's alone. God knows what he eats. Mm. But don't his children come to visit him? <sighs> he had a daughter, but she died a month ago. And now he stumbled in the bathroom and dislocated his hip. Now he's in a wheelchair completely alone. Well, I could help. It would be no problem. <sighs> you know, he won't be able to pay you. He won't need to. You know, I'll talk to my son-in-law, let him give you a raise, and you'll be able to help Ivan Fedor as well. That's fine. I can do without it. This is uncomfortable. And my children aren't poor. They can chip in and contribute some money. Well, all right. Let me visit him today and figure out what's going on, and then we'll figure it out. Oh, you're wonderful. Were you in the war? Nah, uh, I was too young to be in the army. But myself and all the other kids, we were still fighting. We fought the fascists. Oh, we had a, a watch on the roof. I used to work at the factory. And I would uh, help bury the dead. They used to respect us. And now, only remember us on 9th of May. And, uh, uh... Well, then. Huh? That's it. Uh, you are a very kind soul. Listen, this place hasn't been clean like this in ages. You know what? Sit down, and we'll have some tea. All right? I don't have a real treat, of course, but at least it's from the heart. And you'll have to taste the jam. It was my daughter who made it. Enjoy. All right, just a second. Here, here you go. This is for your work today. Come on, I won't take it. Listen, you deal with a lot of people like me. Well, just like me. And each one of them needs help. Ivan, listen to me. Put the money away or I'll be offended, okay? Let's just have some jam, all right? <sighs> yes, okay. Mm. As you say. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah? Pretty good, huh? You know, I have another closed jar there. Take it with you. At least it's something I can pay you with. Seriously, it's the least I can do. Thank you very much. You know what? Huh? I'll come tomorrow and iron everything, bring you groceries, and then I'll make you dinner. And let's see, I can replant the flowers. Sound good? These violets are completely crooked, don't you think? There you go. Oh, wow. So what's the special occasion, huh? Nastya, we are celebrating the fact that I think I have solved all our problems. Have a seat. What? Did you win the lottery? <laughs> mm, not quite. You know, I happen to have found a very cool client for you. He has a lot of money. And he wants to talk to you specifically. Hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? Well, the conductor's brother, he was in an accident. He was... He was skiing and he damaged his spine. So now he can't serve himself. Obviously the doctors are trying as hard as they can, but it's unclear, mm. uh, it's unclear how much longer he's gonna live. So his family wants to pamper him. They want you to start on Monday. Okay, what's the schedule? Well, what about the schedule? It's like a regular schedule. All day, every day. Hold on. What about my other clients? Well, uh, why do you need them, Nastya? You gotta understand, with this one client, you'll earn more money than you do with the rest of those other old people combined. I mean, come on. 
But they got used to me already. Yeah, who cares? Nastya. This man is a gold mine, don't you see? He could spend a year, two, or even ten years in that wheelchair. Listen, they'll give you full service. They're going to take you there and back every day. What do you say? Sorry, this is not for me. I'm sorry. Look, your old people are going to find new nurses, Nastya. And you're getting a second chance here. I can't abandon them. You can't? Or you don't want to? Would you like some tea or coffee? No, thank you. I had breakfast this morning. Well, you could try a piece of pie at least. Oh, well, I'll have a small slice. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Well, Ivan, you look amazing. I'm trying to do my best. My life looked up as soon as you appeared. <laughs> I opened the door today and said, ah, a handsome, dressed up <laughs> man mm. brought me violets. Oh. <laughs> yes, her favorite flowers. This is delicious. Can I have the recipe? <laughs> it's in the magazine over there. It's very simple. The main thing is that the cottage cheese should be thick. Oh, great. I'll make it this evening. My husband's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Why wait until the <laughs> evening? Go now. Either way, it's clean in here. I'll be sure to take my pills on time. Uh... You go, sweetie. I think we'll be just fine now. I have... I have a great supervisor now. <laughs> <laughs> Rush on home. Bake the pie. And make him a romantic dinner. <laughs> if you're letting me go, then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Uh, Aren't you glad I'm here? No, yeah, I'm glad. I just thought you were going to come back, you know, later in the evening. Your old people have learned to cope without you? Whatever are they going to do? Well, no, they let me go early so I could be with my husband. No, no, that's great. I was just thinking of what to cook for dinner, so let's just go in the kitchen. Nastya? Nastya? Oh, I see you've been preparing. Well, I guess, uh, you like all sorts of champagne. I know that much. So why is the box almost empty? You know, I probably got carried away. I didn't notice how I destroyed half the box. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. We'll do all right just with champagne, right? Yeah, okay. Don't worry, I know where the bottle is. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> You've been waiting so anxiously that you drank it all. I saw her. How could you? You swore to me that this would never happen again. Hmm. Nastya, you know, I'm glad you caught me. I'm so 
tired of pretending that you and I are all right. You're blind. And you're ignorant. And you value other people. You value other people's lives more than ours. I mean, old people mean more to you than our future does. How wonderful. You bring a mistress to our house, and you dare blame me. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of you. I am so sick of what is happening between us. I am sick of your childishness. I'm sick of your unwillingness to move forward with your life. I... I've forgotten the woman I married. I mean, you've buried yourself in your fears. You've turned into a plain mouse. Into a moth. I just... can't see you like this anymore. When I married you, I thought that family meant staying together. When you don't need to prove and explain anything. Because right now, everything is clear without having to use words. been living for you this whole time. I've always given you what you wanted. Well, maybe you should have said no to me once in a while. That way you wouldn't have lost my respect. If you're so disgusted with me, leave. And never come back. <laughs> Oh God, you're whining again. Aren't you tired? Not playing the victim yet. Luba, it's my fault. I let myself go, and he's been sitting there accepting me for who I was. So what now? Now, you're going to take the wheel and start living for yourself. Loving yourself. And spending money for yourself. <sighs> Tell me something. When was the last time you have bought anything for yourself? I don't remember. And for that idiot? This morning? There. That says it all. You should have kicked him out a long time ago. What kind of man is that? Can't even earn enough to book a hotel room and brings a woman home instead. All right. Turn the page, forget it, and start a new life. Do you understand? OK, all right. I'll turn the page. I'll start new. Mm. Well, well, how does it look? Now we're talking. What a beauty, just a star. Well, come on, it's a great look for you. Well, it is, but lonely. Well, I know, but it won't be long. You're right, I came for Juliet. Luba, I understand that you got used to her, but I need her very much. N Nastia, listen. We've had a little accident. I didn't want to call you and upset you. You were dealing with a lot already. We're bent over backwards here. What happened? What, where's the dog? She ran away a few days ago. <laughs> we had this goddamn door. If you don't lock it, it opens itself. Slava came home from work and probably didn't lock the door and she ran away. Julia, Julia, we went looking for her. I even fell in the dark looking for her. Oh. And no one saw her? It was dark and she was so small. Nastia, forgive me, please. You've entrusted us, and we idiots failed to keep an eye on her. I was counting on her. I even had a place for her. Nastia, I'll adopt you another dog. <laughs> well, I guess this is the way. 
it's supposed to be. Perhaps I'm not to be with a man or a dog. Why are you being so stupid, huh? Nastya, won't you stop it already? How long can you sit here and pity yourself? It's time to crawl out, need someone. I don't know what to do with you. Why is that? Because of your self-esteem, Slava, for instance, goes to sauna with his good friends. Why doesn't he introduce you to someone? I don't need anyone. Nastya. I'm leaving. Make sure you lock the door, all right? Bye. Yeah. I'm so glad you're home with me. Yeah. I'm glad too, Mom. How are you feeling? Hmm? Sit down. All right, sit down, sit down. Uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, while you were away, I was thinking about something. I'll die, and you will stay alone. Mom, why are you starting this? Why? You need to get married, my dear. Here we go again. Tell me why, Mom. You know I can't be with anyone. Well, perhaps you should give it a try. Well, why would I try? Wife, kids. Why would I need them all? What for, Mom? Why would they need me? Mm. Nastya comes to visit me. You haven't seen her. She's a lovely girl. She's kind and caring. With a medical degree. Mom. She broke up with her husband recently. Mm. She's grieving now. Why don't you just talk to her? What if something happens? I like her so much. Huh? Won't you just give it a thought? <gasps> the door. Sit down. I'll open the door, don't worry. Hello? Good afternoon. Please, come in. Mm. Uh, where's Vera? Oh, she's waiting for you. Let me help oh, you. Oh, thank you. I'll help you. Thank you. Nastia. Hello. Hello, Nastia. Uh, meet my son, Sasha. This is Nastia. I've been telling you about her. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, nice to meet you. Your mom missed you so much. I I'm glad you're back. She talked about you all the time. Right. Are you happy? Of course. <laughs> <sighs> well, I suggest we have a celebration. I'll wash my hands. Mm. And cook something tasty. Oh. Mm. <sighs> well? What? <laughs> Can you believe it? My patient's heart rate returned to normal for the first time in a long time. Under your supervision, well, that's no surprise. No, that's not the reason, you see? It's just that her son came back from the work trip. Oh. And she's literally doing better. And that's what a family member can do. Oh, well, 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 how old is he? Who? Who do you think? The son. <sighs> You're starting again? I haven't even looked at him. Well, you better look. Come on, come on, look. You've already won the mother's heart, and the rest is easy. I don't need that. Anyway, I'm not divorced yet. Oh, stop it. You'll get divorced. Your husband hasn't shown up, I hope. No. All right, great. Out of sight, out of mind. And we've got a new one coming. <laughs> Come on, you stupid. <laughs> Come here, come here. Stand up. Back. <laughs> Good dog. Hello. Hello there. I can see you're in a better mood. Everything's fine then? Well, yes. That's wonderful. 
Well, goodbye. Well, Oksana, you're like a space woman. <laughs> well, there is a reason for that. My kids bought a house by Oka, and they told me to pack my things. Uh -huh. I resisted for a while. Why would an old lady like me change everything? And then I thought, come on, I'm not that old. Right. <laughs> right. <sighs> I've dug through my wardrobe. Okay. I found a suit. Surprisingly, it still fits me. I couldn't believe it. And now I will be walking <laughs> along the bank with my cane. <laughs> oh, for how long? Forever, I guess so. I'm afraid we'll have to part ways, Nastya. Ah. Uh, I'll miss you. Me too. Ah, uh, well, what about Ivan? He's, you know... Well, you're not just a neighbor for him. I'm taking him with me. Are you? <laughs> yeah, what would he do here alone? There's air, nature, a spacious house. We can rent out his apartment. There can be a solid addition to his pension, you know? You're so great. I'm so glad. Your children are wonderful. Yes, they are. They told me to take whoever I want. <laughs> so, if you're ever on vacation, <laughs> Feel free to visit. We'll welcome you like a queen. <laughs> All right. You must be really sick of us, though. Am I right? Oh, stop it. I feel like we're family. I know, honey. I do, too. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Tell you, dude, it was something beautiful. What did you get? I tell you, the <laughs> <laughs> I got off that ski lift. No, you went down that mountain. I mean, I like the old chicken. Is like my felt like I was Nastia, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, really something, I, 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 something sure. out of a book. I swear. Tell me, do you like me? At least a little bit. Well, if I didn't like you at all, I wouldn't be seeing you. Ladies, here you go. Thank you, honey. Would you like me to open a bottle of wine for you? No, thanks, love. Let us gossip for a while instead. He's a good man. The restaurant, the flowers. What's not to like? The pressure. We barely even know each other. A month is a short time? I don't know what monastery you grew up in. Slava talked me into living together on the second date. It's not easy to find a man like him. I guess the problem is that I don't feel anything. Well, this is a good thing. This is wonderful. What about it? This is. You loved your husband, right? You loved him so much, you kissed his boots. And what did you get? He wiped his feet, stepped all over you, and went away. This is a whole other thing. This one's kissing your boots. Do you feel the difference? Do you? Do you feel the difference? He will respect you, I promise you. It doesn't mean anything without love. And the love will come, believe me. With a good attitude, love won't get away from you. You'll finally feel like a woman, not like a horse. I don't think so. I don't think he's the man for me.
kiss her. No come on, kiss. a kiss. kiss. No kiss, come on. What does it say, Doctor? How long do I have? Hmm. Well, it's not all that bad. But take care of your heart. Don't overstress. Avoid any worrying and strong emotions. But I've only been feeling happiness lately, Doctor. Happiness is a strong emotion, too. Anyway, I've written it down here for you. Please don't forget to take your medicine on time. Hmm. And stay healthy. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Mm. 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 Mom, wait in the hall. Mm. I'll be right there. All right. Your mother has a very weak heart. How weak is it? Not good at all, frankly speaking. I'm afraid even to make any predictions. Keep her safe. Darling, what did the doctor say? Is it really bad news? No, Mom. Come on. I knew it was coming. I've been ready for a long time. I was just scared to leave you all alone without me. I want you to be in good hands. All right. Here. Come on, lie down. Get some rest. I'm going to finish making lunch. Nastya. Sit down, please. I want to talk to you for a moment. Uh, I'm not doing as great as it may seem. I'm just putting on a brave face. It's terrifying to die knowing my son is going to be alone. You're like a daughter to me. Sasha's in love with you. He's nice and decent. He will treat you well. Just indulge me. Just for a moment. Vera Petrovna. Why, you're alone too. It hurts my heart to look at you too. My dear, give it a try. Will you? What if it works out? You'd have children. Wait, did you get back together with your ex? Well, no. He got married again, so... Why should you let yourself go to waste? Sasha loves you. This could really work out for you both. Fear Petrovna, no, no. Don't stop it. Sasha? Sasha? Yes, Mom. Did you want to ask um, Nastya something? Me? Yeah. Um, Nastya, my dear. Honey, will you marry me?
Do you want to lie down? You haven't slept for three days. Hmm. What am I going to do without her? We'll remember her every day. She's going to be with us forever. She wanted grandchildren so much, and she didn't live to see them. What can we do? It hasn't happened yet. But we're not losing hope. Nastya. If we have a baby girl, we will call her Vera, right? Of course. My sweetheart. All right, all right. You're the only one I have right now. You're not going to leave me, right? I will. If you keep being stupid. Let's go. Uh, uh, Come on, get some sleep. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, You'll get some sleep at least. Yeah. I liked the movie. The love story was so unconventional. Oh, you really liked the movie. I thought you just liked the young actor. <laughs> No, I don't like such pretty ones. Oh, I'm so lucky, right? I don't think I really qualify as pretty. <laughs> well, you're brutal. Oh. And very kind. Listen, why don't we get a dog? I wish I could. But I've been allergic to animals since childhood. Mom would take a cat or a hamster once in a while. But we had to give them all away. Pretty. My first husband was allergic, too, but I think he just didn't like animals. Don't worry about it. I promise I'll be the most loyal and tender pet you'll ever have. Sleep yet? What a day I had. A patient felt really sick, and I had to call an ambulance. It was very scary. The ambulance came, and they decided to take her to the hospital. But in short, well, we decided to pack her things. I lost track of time. It's 12 o'clock. Don't worry, I took a cab straight away. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want my wife to come home so late at night. It was an emergency. I couldn't just leave the poor man all by himself. You're not listening to me. Why aren't you listening to me? I said I forbid you to come home so late at night. Why aren't you listening? Do you understand me? Do you understand? It 
was your mother who insisted on it. Now I think we need to break up. What are you doing? Nastia, what are you doing? I'm leaving. No, 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 Nastia. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. I've made my decision. I'm sorry. Nastia. Nastia, forgive me, please. I lost it. I was very nervous, you know. It was very late, and your phone was off. I'm sorry. You nearly broke my hand. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Don't. Forgive me. Please. Don't touch me. Forgive me, please. I love you so much. Don't leave. Please, please, don't go. I can't be without you. Please, stay. Please, stay. Absolutely fine. The test results came out great. The reason you feel sick is perfectly normal. You're about to become a mother. Congratulations. Hey, you. Hello. You look gorgeous. How are you? I play for the people! And the people pay me generously. Let's go to a cafe. We can have a cup of coffee. I mean, it's my treat, of course. I made a fortune today. How have you been? God, why am I even asking? You're shining. And of course, there's a ring on your finger. Who is he? A man who loves me. Are you happy with him? Well, I'm not asking whether you're happy with Vika or not. Go ahead, ask me. I don't care. I've let you go. You've changed. God, I envy your husband. Don't. Live your life. What happened? Why are you... Why what? Why I play in the street? I need the money, Nastya. Vika's on maternity leave. My son is six months old. Congratulations. They kicked me out of the orchestra. Vika's picking on me all the time. I'm bending over backwards as much as I can. During the day, I play in the street, restaurants in the evening. At night, I'm a dishwasher. Dishwasher? But... Couldn't that affect your music? Well, everything changes, Nastya. Can't win them all. You'll be fine. What matters now is your family. Sure, sure. God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I left you. Tell me, Nastya, do you ever think of me? No. Excuse me, waiter. My husband is waiting for me. Can I pay? No, oh, Nastya, mm -hmm. come on. No, that's, that's fine. not what we agreed on. That's fine. That's fine. What does Vika like to eat? Pizza. I mean, make a pizza to go, please, and bill it to me. Nastya, come on. I invited you. It's fine. No, Nastya. Nastya, we agreed this was my treat. 
Let's do this. When you get a job in the orchestra, you'll invite me to a cafe, okay? You're a saint, Nastya. Please forgive me for what I did to you. Please forgive me. That's all right. Your pizza will be ready in 10 minutes. Thank you. Well, goodbye. Nastya, hold on. Nastya. Thank you. That's fine. Bye. Hi. I've got great news for you. And I've got some for you. Uh, are you out of your mind? Come here. Where have you been today? I was in the poly clinic and they said that... Where else have you been today? Nowhere. Nice. I was watching you. Watching me? <laughs> <clears throat> And I was thinking, why has my wife been so happy lately? And now I know why. Because you were with him. I met Oleg accidentally, really. You're lying to me. What's between the two of you? Calm down, please. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. It's his child. No! It's his. I knew you were having an affair. Slut! <laughs> this is your child! Please, think about it! I don't believe you. Don't believe me. I don't care. Please, just let me go. I'm letting you go. Slut! over as soon as I heard what happened to you. Luba called me. Well, why? Well, she blames all your problems on me. She says it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for me, so... Do you forgive me, Nastya? For what? You didn't beat me. Everything was good when you and I were together. Do you think there's a chance that, that you and I could start over again? You have a wife, and you have a son. Well, that was a mistake. You're a strange man. As soon as you begin to feel uncomfortable, you start thinking that everything is a mistake. Yeah, I understand that you're still mad at me. I don't care. Thank you for dropping by. Don't come again. Goodbye. When my mother was in labor, she had a very complicated delivery. Anyway, she did what she could. And the fact that I'm not a vegetable is because of her. But we failed to cure the anger attacks. This is why I would leave for medical treatments twice a year. Well, now I know. 
what those work trips were for. Yes. I skipped them this time because of my mother's death. Forgive me. Nastya, I had to tell you everything, but I was just afraid of losing you. To cut a long story short, you used me, a medical worker, unable to say no, no right? No, no. This is not true. I just fell in love with you. Will you forgive me? You know, I think it will be better if you disappear from my life forever. Where's your owner? You must be hungry. Hold on. Here. Do you want it? Here. Perhaps you're lost? Let's go to my place. Until we're able to find your owner, huh? You don't want to, do you? I don't need anything from him, not a thing. By the way, he asked me to tell you that he'll be waiting. <sighs> Come on, just forgive him, okay? Nastya, come on, he loves you very much. He loves me so much that he killed our baby. That's bad, for sure. The man went insane. But he's getting treatment now. He's taking his pills. Please forgive me. Do you really want to know the truth, Nastia? My hubby beats me sometimes, too. Because I'm a bad, bad girl. Are you serious? You never told me about it. <laughs> Why would I? And shame myself? We're an ideal couple. He's a loving husband, right? He's so angry. He machetes ants in his sleep. Why do you stay with him then? They're all like that, you know? You just need to hang in there. And if you abide, then you have them begging on their knees for forgiveness, if you know what I mean. Hang in there for that? Tell me, that bruise you had when Juliet got lost, was it him? He was jealous of my boss. He ran into the apartment like a madman, started screaming, and forgot to lock the door. Juliet ran away. Nastia, that's nothing unusual. Just the typical wife beater. Who told you that? The people. Russia. God. Nastia, you need to understand one thing. They all have their fads. That's what they are. They're from another planet. If it makes it simpler. Sashka can't sit still. He came to my house, told me that, and broke into tears. Forgive him already. Is this why you came here? Why would you think that? I came to visit you, to support you. And to give you a piece of advice. Give him a chance. He understands what he did. Why should you be alone? Don't be alone. I'm better off alone. You know, Nastia, let them go to hell. I'm sick of them, nerves and nothing else. You're great, I even envy you. Me, I can't do it. What's in your way? Well, I don't know. Perhaps I love him. Perhaps I'm used to him, or maybe I'm just scared. Scared that he'll kill you? 
No, of course not. Scared to stay alone. Anyway, I'm not as strong as you. You are the one who is very strong, not afraid of being alone. Me, on the other hand, I'm terrified of it. Slava's at least some type of man. It seems we have some sort of family, at least. Actually, Nastia... You can't even imagine what hell is like. Leave him, Luba. I can't. I'm kind of used to him. There's no reason to at this point. I don't like whining. We'll make it through. We'll make it through. Okay, bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Still here? Hey, what's going on? He. he. he still doesn't eat anything? What's wrong, honey, huh? No, look at him. You have to eat, doggo. You have to eat. Do you know what happened? Why he's alone? Where's his owner? The owner. the owner got sick around here. We called an ambulance and they took him. But the dog stayed. It's been lying here for three days. Well, I really wanted to take him home, but he wouldn't go by any means. And the thing is that he refused to eat. It's the third day now. Doesn't eat, doesn't drink. Like in that movie, lying and waiting. <sighs> Come on. Don't worry, don't worry. Good boy. Poor devil. How do I help you? All right. Let's go. Stand up, stand up. That's it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, you're stubborn, aren't you? Well, I'm even more stubborn. Oh, here. Like that. You're sitting? Fine, keep on sitting. Let's go. That's right, that's right. Good boy, good boy. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll find your owner, we'll find him. Don't worry, Barney. Barney! Barney, come here! <laughs> yes. Hey, Barney, yes. Bad luck. Even the dog ran away. Hello? Hello. Are you Nasia? Yes. Oh, Barney. Come in, come in. Uh, thank you. Hello. I'm Igor. I found this and came to thank you for saving Barney. No, it's all fine. Please, come in. No, 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 no. We just came for a minute to thank you. That's it. I can only imagine how happy Barney is to have found you. Oh, yeah, I'll say. Well, we're off. If you ever want to take a walk, we'd be happy if you joined us. <laughs> Great. 
Hold on. Yeah. How did you find me? The ad only has a telephone number. Barney led me all the way to your apartment. Did I'm he? I'm sure he didn't make a mistake, so... <laughs> wow. So you aren't just loyal, you're also very clever, aren't you? He's my best friend. Mm. Thank you. Again, and... Goodbye. All the best. Come on, let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. When will it end? My body's one big bruise. Be patient for a while, Maria. We need to do the whole course. We're halfway through. You'll be as fresh as a cucumber soon. I'm already green and pimpled all over. What can be better? Okay, get some rest now. Do you want to eat? I have no appetite. Better yet, tell me. Why are you so gloomy? You used to come in with jokes and smiles. And now you're like a cloud. And your eyes are all wet. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Nastia? Are you crying over a man? They're not even worth it. <laughs> Everything is very bad. I don't want to live. Are you out of your mind? I'm an old woman, and yet I want to live. You're young and healthy, and you've got the rest of your life ahead of you. Nothing works out. The first husband left me. I left the second one. I've lost a child. <laughs> I wanted to adopt a dog, but I failed. I'm good for nothing. Listen to me. Pitying yourself is the easiest thing. Pity someone who feels worse. The dog, you say. If you love dogs so much, then help them. My niece Senka works in a dog shelter. She spends all her salary on her dog food. And there's no one to help them. If you want to be happy, then first you need to make someone else happy. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello. Are you Nastia? Yes. I'm Xenia. Nice to meet you. Here, I brought the food. All right, let's go. Thank you very much. Why did you buy the most expensive? You could have bought something simpler. Well, I wanted to do what was best. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have you got it? Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> That's how we live. Yeah, people call, bring the food. We save on all the veterinary costs. The authorities don't help us at all. I'll be coming every week now. So you like dogs, right? Very much. I don't have my own, but I guess I'll spend time with them at least. Oh, I'm dreaming of finding good homes for all the dogs. But this is fiction, right? <laughs> Everyone wants a well-bred dog, pure-blood dog, or a puppy. If we get pure-blood dogs, they're all old. People take them and leave them after a while, and then I drive around the city and pick them up. Oh. Do you want to take a look? Perhaps you'll choose someone. No, Zinya, I'm not ready yet. I... I tried to have a dog, but I had to give him to my friends because of my husband, and they lost it. To make a long story short, I'm still blaming myself. Anyway, I'm here to help. Thank you. You're very kind. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's crying again. We have a nervy lady here. She's crying all the time. Do you want to meet her? I wish I could, but no thanks. I'll cry with her if I do. Thank you very much. As you wish, okay. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye, come again.
my girl, Juliet. Oh. <laughs> it seems Juliet. that our nervous lady chased you down, I see. <laughs> then, yeah, this is my dog. <laughs> really? It's impossible. <laughs> the famous lost Juliet. <laughs> if only you knew how much I missed you. Do you hear me? <laughs> I won't lose you anymore. We will never part again. And the two of us are gonna live happily together. We don't need anyone else. Ivan is like a new man after the operation. He walks on one foot with a stick now, though. But he is much better, Nastya. Well, of course. I'm so glad. Julka. There's more news. As soon as he got up on his feet, he proposed to me. Why waste time, he said. Marry me, Oksana. Did you say yes? Well, I'm no age to say no. I talked it over with my children, and they approved. <laughs> anyway, Nastya, the wedding is in a week. You're in Juliet! I'm sorry, I'll call you back. Oh, hi there. Who's your owner? Come on up. Whose beauty are you, huh? Barney, help me out. Hello. Oh, hello. Is it your girl? Yeah, her name's Juliet. Barney, hello. Hello. I think she really likes him. Well, you bet. She has great taste. Does he? Barney, you're a real gentleman. <laughs> yeah, he's lucky. I wonder whether his owner will be lucky, too. <laughs> what do you do? I see you walking Barney all the time on my way to work. I'm a programmer. I sit at home. I write software. I create sites. Mm. You know, remote access is a very comfortable thing. In my free time, I walk with Barney. Hmm. He's my only dear friend. Well, don't you have anyone else? I used to have a wife, but she left. I never married again. I'm sorry. Why be sorry? Life goes on, you know. I've understood that a man cannot live without warmth and love. And I've found an outlet. You know, Barney and I, we uh, go to a boarding school, teach kids, I teach him to work with computers, and he teaches them love. Love, huh. can you actually teach it? Of course you can. I think someone taught you about love. This is why you saved Barney. You know, he fell in love with you. <laughs> Did he? As soon as he felt you near, he ran away without looking back. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as we greeted each other, he rushed back to you. But you were gone already. Mm. You know what? Barty and I don't leave the people we love. And I think you do the same. It's really cold out today. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Awake, right? You awake? You awake? Yes. Yeah. All right. Come here. Come to me, my love. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're awake. You're awake. Awake, you're awake. my dear. Oh, my love. 